Hello everyone, it's your favorite teacher again, Miss H, and today we're talking about characterization. Characterization right here. Um, and characterization, it uh, means pretty much what it sounds, uh, sounds like. We see we have character in there. So characterization is um, how an author describes a character's personality. How an author describes a character's personality. So we're writing this right here. How an author describes a character's personality. I'm not gonna write out the whole thing because I'm also trying to do this video, but you need to make sure you write out in complete sentences, characterization is how an author describes a character, just like it sounds. Um, there are two different types of characterization, okay? There are two different types of characterization. The two different types are direct characterization, and I'll talk more about what that means in a minute, and indirect characterization. And um, remember, don't be like me and just write direct and indirect. You need to write this in complete sentences. So your sentence should read something like, the two different types of characterization are direct and indirect. So what does that mean? What's direct characterization? What's indirect characterization? What's the difference between them? Direct characterization is a lot like it sounds. Direct characterization is when an author directly or straight up just tells you the personality of a character. So direct characterization, it's really easy to remember. It's exactly as it sounds. It's when an author just directly, straight up, tells you the personality of a character. So direct characterization, when an author directly describes the character of a personality. Uh, directly describes the personality of a character. Indirect characterization. It's not as straightforward, it's not as easy. Indirect characterization is when an author shows you the character of a, the, a character's personality, but doesn't directly tell you the personality. So, direct characterization is when an author directly describes the personality of a character, while indirect characterization is when an author shows you the character's personality, but doesn't directly tell you the character's personality, okay? And we'll go into that in a little more. So an example of direct characterization would be an author saying, um, H was an honest, hardworking, loyal person. The author is directly telling you what H's personality is. Indirect characterization is if the author says, um, H worked so hard, he shoveled two people's, uh, two coal enough for two people in one day, and he never told a lie. So the author doesn't, the author isn't directly telling you that H is honest, right? And the author isn't directly telling you that H is hardworking. But because of the way H acts, we can infer that his character is hardworking and honest, okay? So, direct characterization, very easy. It was just when an author directly tells you a character's personality. So we're gonna move on from that and just focus on indirect characterization. So there are five ways that an author can indirectly characterize a character in a book, okay? And to remember those five different ways, we're gonna remember the acronym STEEL. STEEL stands for speak, thoughts, effect on others, actions, and look, okay? You see that acronym, STEEL? Speech, thoughts, effect on others, actions, and look. And we'll talk about what that means um, more in a minute. And we can use STEEL to find out the personality of a character that we're reading about, okay? So we can use a character's speech, their thoughts, the effect they have on others, their actions, and the way they look to figure out their personality. So speak is, of course, how a character talks and what's, what they say. And we can always use what a character says and what they say in order to figure out their personality. So if the author said something like, um, Abina always spoke, uh, very loud and cursed a lot and yelled at her dad, we could 
determine that a Venus personality is probably kind of mean and rude and aggressive. So by the way a character speaks, the way they talk and what they say, we can determine their personality. Now thoughts. So by what a character thinks, the thoughts they have, the way they think, we can also determine what their uh, personality is through indirect characterization. So an example of this would be um, Abina thinking to herself that she is a curse. Through those thoughts, we can kind of determine that she has a pretty depressed personality, that she's unhappy, that she's not very much fun, right? She's thinking that she's a curse. So a character's thoughts are another way an author can indirectly characterize the character. The effect they have on others, that's what our E in steel has. So the effect they have on others is how do they make other people feel? How do they make others feel? So we can know if a character makes other people feel um, really comfortable and loved and happy, they probably have a pretty good personality, right? They're probably a nice person, a good friend. But on the other hand, if a character makes other people feel mad, they're getting into fights all the time, or the people around them feel angry, we can determine they probably have a pretty nasty personality, that they're not fun to be around. So we can, an author can indirectly characterize a character by showing us the effect they have on other characters in the book. Okay, and then um, actions. How does a character act? That's really easy. So, if the author tells us that um, H was very trusting, um, very respectful, that he acted very nice, that um, you know he did things for the people around him, helped the other convicts around him, if his actions were nice, uh, we can determine that his personality is pretty nice, right? So actions, it's another easy way to determine a character's personality. If we hear that a character is going to um, like donate their time at a food bank or they're um, you know, g giving to charities, we can determine that their personality is pretty nice. Um, and then finally, L, the last way an author can indirectly characterize a character in a book is through the way they look. So describing what a character looks like what we want to write there. Describing what a character looks like. And forgive my handwriting, it's hard to write and film at the same time. But if an author tells us, um, like when the author in The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lass told us that Henrietta always had to have her nails done. So she didn't, the author didn't directly say Henrietta cared about the way she looked. But we can infer that Henrietta cared about, cares about the way she looks because we know she always has her nails done. So through describing the way a character looks, we can also um, determine a character's personality. So again, still, it stands for speak, thoughts, effect on others, actions, and look. Make sure you've written that down. And we can use still to determine a character's personality. Um, so oftentimes the author won't use direct characterization. The author won't directly tell us what the character's personality is like. We have to infer it. We have to make an inference and use their speech, the, their thoughts, their effect on others, their actions, and the way they look to determine their personality. Okay? So now flip over to this side. We're going to get a little practice on this. For questions one and two, I want to read. you want to read through and uh, read each of the sentences and determine if it's an example of indirect or direct characterization and then explain why. Okay, so your sentence should start. This is an example of blank characterization because and then you explain why. For number three, you just want to read that question and then um, answer it. Read the question, answer it. Once you finish this, raise your hand and I'll give you the next worksheet so you can continue on um, your reading of age. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Characterization, it's pretty simple and easy. We do it all the time. We may not have just known uh, the name for it. We're always thinking what a character's personality is like. When we do that, it's characterization. And again, there are two ways that an author can um, characterize a character. 
through direct and indirect characterization, okay? So good work. Um, finish up your questions on the back and then raise your hand and I'll bring you the chapter and you can move on to the next task. Okay, happy reading. Bye.